Hi everyone, welcome along. So I've had someone write me an email to say that he has a combi system and he finds that he has to keep topping up the pressure quite regularly and he says I've had the system completely checked over and there are no leaks anywhere, not one leak to be found. So how come I've got to still keep topping up regularly? <laughs> yeah, well you know topping up regularly does mean that you are going to get a worse and worse situation because it sounds like you're topping up regularly because there may well be sludge in your system and this may well be because your inhibitor hasn't been checked of late and you may not have topped up your inhibitor a lot of people put it in and think that's it for five years well not so it's best to regularly check it all the time now the reason for that is because if you think about it logically when you boil your water your boilers go in strong when you put fresh oxygenated water in via a filling loop shall we say where you've just topped it up because it's been low again so what happens is you start to get more and more debris in the boiler as it were in the way of blockages with sludge because you keep topping it up and the more you top it up the faster it's going to become in your sequence of top ups because the more sludge you build up and the weaker your mixture is getting in that your inhibitor has got less and less strength in it the more uh, you'll get this problem of well I'm topping up but I've got no leaks there's no leak anyway I've checked the entire system and this is one of the particular ones that people miss simply because of the way when you add more water into your boiler by filling up a little bit where you know it's gone down or bleeding radiators or doing work on the system for instance where you may have drained the radiators to do some work and you just filled it back up via the filling loop and uh, it's just put in fresh water or if you filled up even just with an F&E system still still going to get it still fresh water dropping down from the F&E tank into your system and that's oxygenated water that again is not treated it's weakened your amount of inhibitor that's in your heating system and therefore is going to create even more problems in the way of creating black sludge because you haven't got the inhibitor there to break it down and keep your system running clear so this really is a problem I did do a video just recently on checking your systems with tester strips that you can get to make sure that you have the right level of inhibitor in your system In the main, obviously the leak, and if you haven't got that, then the next one on is obviously the one I've told you about, the inhibitor in the system, that's a number two, because that needs to be checked thoroughly that you've got 100%. Uh, a number three would be the boiler heat exchanger possibly leaking through and losing pressure, and fourth would be the pressure vessel on the boiler system. Okay, that's it though, just a few little pointers to look at in a way of if you've got a uh, keep on pressurising the system, uh, uh, there's trouble ahead in one form or another I'm afraid. Don't worry about it if you have to top it up every couple of three months, that's quite normal. Okay, that's about it though, just a little thing that I was asked about this week by one of my subscribers. So I hope that helps you all out <laughs> a little bit. Okay. I mean, I understand that. Shut up.